Next, in Drupal 8, we have the new Breakpoint module. The Breakpoint module doesn't have a user interface per se, but it allows modules and themes to supply breakpoints. Now, if you haven't done any front-end development, you might not be sure how breakpoints work, but the basic idea is that a breakpoint tells the browser to load different CSS at different browser sizes. So for example, as we shrink up the Drupal 8 side, you can see that the description goes away and we get a little bit more padding between the checkbox and the title. This is triggered by a breakpoint. Breakpoints are supplied by modules and themes through a YAML file or YML file. There is one way that we can take a look at the breakpoints through the user interface, and that's by enabling the responsive images module. I'm going to use the filter here, and here's responsive image. I'm going to enable it here and install it. Responsive images are a little complex, and we have some extensive coverage of how they work in the front end development section on build a module. But very briefly, the idea is that for different browser sizes, we might want to load different sizes of images. For a big browser size, we might want a big image. For a small browser size, we might want to load a smaller one. That way, we're not loading unnecessary data, and our site could be significantly faster as a result. When we install the responsive image module, it allows us to display an image field as a responsive image, which, once you get familiar with responsive images, is pretty amazing. And when we adjust the settings for responsive images, we'll see a list of breakpoints. So I'm going to go to Manage, and then Configuration, Media, and then Responsive Image Styles. I'm going to go ahead and click Edit next to the narrow responsive image style. And here we have a list of the breakpoint groups. These are the breakpoint groups that have been supplied through modules and themes. In this case, the themes Bartik and Seven have some breakpoints, and the modules Responsive Image and Toolbar also have breakpoints. And if we select different ones, we can see what the breakpoints are. So in Bartik, there's a breakpoint called Wide, and it comes into play if the browser has a minimum width of 851 pixels. It also has a breakpoint of Narrow, which comes into play when the browser has a minimum width of 560 pixels and a maximum width of 850 pixels. And then a final breakpoint for everything else that's under 560 pixels. If we look at the toolbar, it sets breakpoints in a slightly different way. It has a wide, standard, and narrow breakpoint. By default, the responsive image module uses the responsive image breakpoints. The responsive image group only has one breakpoint. That's because it's setting the breakpoints inside of this sizes input. You can see min width, min width, min width here. So it has a similar structure to a breakpoint. In fact, both of them use media queries. You can see min width, min width, min width here as it sets multiple breakpoints. What the responsive images module does is use the sizes and source set attributes in the image tag in order to supply some breakpoints saying that when the browser is a certain size, we want the image to be a certain size, and that size might change. It might start out kind of small, and then might get a bit bigger and bigger as the browser window gets bigger. And the source set attribute will specify which images to load for different image sizes. And Drupal uses image styles in order to load those different images. So when the image is small, it might load a 325 by 325 image. If the browser is bigger, it might instead load a much bigger image, possibly this 1300 by 1300 version. If you don't quite get how responsive images work right now, don't worry about it. It's something that eventually you'll get a handle on if you deal with front end development. And you'll find, if you do have to dig into it, that this solution for managing responsive images is actually pretty elegant. All right, I'm gonna go back to the modules listings page. 